Officials say they opened both entry gates at the air show at 9 a.m. Sunday to help ease traffic, an hour earlier than Saturday. Despite the changes, cars were still backed up on the H3 freeway. A couple hours? Yeah, two hours. And, like, is it worth it? Yeah. No, of course. Okay, yeah. right on. Of course, absolutely, bro. I'm going back because I didn't see you last night. Okay. I was in life for two to three hours, it took and too long. I missed the show. So just for some perspective, I'm about a mile away from the Marine Corps base on the H3 freeway. You can see the cars heading in that way. But once I turn around, now you can see that the line extends much, much further. But folks seemed in a happy mood. Some visitors even had time for jokes. Uh, yeah, we just flew in from Kauai on our private airplane, and we were kind of wishing that we had landed uh, at the uh, air show airport. <laughs> okay. The Sepulveda's heard about Saturday's backup, finding a lookout spot not too far away on Sunday. I asked if they felt bad seeing hundreds of cars just behind them. Well, mm, not they're really. Gonna be late. No, they're not gonna really. be late for the show. <laughs> I, I'm thinking that. And you guys are right on time. <laughs> you think, yeah, right? You, you think if some of them look at us here, they'd be like, hey, that's a good idea. And it was a good idea for Joseph Pahia. He drives Uber and Lyft and brought a passenger to the air show on Saturday. It was, it was crazy. It was worse than this. Like, you, you see actual movement. Yes, yesterday, there was nothing. No movement at all. Oh, I'm at this location to avoid this traffic because, I mean, from this point of view, you can see the entire show and you don't have to deal with the traffic at all. Officials said in part through a statement, the safety of Marine Corps Base Hawaii personnel and community members attending the air show has been and will continue to be our first priority. We will continue to manage traffic in a safe and orderly manner, and we thank our neighbors in the community for their patience and understanding. Bryce Moore, KHON 2 News, working for Hawaii.